Now let's look quickly at document approvals. Again, this is normally turned on by default on Education Plus, uh, but you can check that under Drive and Docs. And if we select approvals, we've got a couple of settings here. So we can check to allow approval requests on files owned by our organization. And we can also allow users in our organization to request approvals on files. And when you uh, do a, an approval, let me just start uh, switch tabs again and find a document I created earlier. In fact, it's on Cloud Search. So thanks Cloud Search for finding the document I needed. Let's select this one. So here I've got a policy. Um, I must admit, I didn't actually write this policy. I just got chat GPT to write it quickly for me uh, earlier. And from here, if I wanted to get this policy approved by our senior leadership team, for instance, I could go to file, approvals, then it opens up this sidebar for me. And then I can just select make a request. Then I type in the approvers. So again, let's get Dumbledore to approve this for us. And what about Severus Snape as well? I can add a message in here. Adding a due date is useful if it's time sensitive. Uh, so let's set that to the 27th. And what that does, uh, six o'clock is okay. It will send automated reminders. So if it's getting close to that day and it's not seeing any activity from those approvers, it will ping a reminder. Uh, so that's pretty useful. One thing to keep in mind is when you do send a, a request like this, and let's say, uh, Dumbledore has approved it. And then Severus Snape goes in and makes some more changes uh, before it gets approved. In that case, Dumbledore will need to approve that again as it's changed. Uh, you can lock that file to, so to prevent any edits while it's going through that approval process. Uh, and here you can also allow approvers to edit the file if you want to. And then all you need to do is hit send request. It will check the approvers have access. If they don't, you can give them access here now. And then the approvers will receive an email asking them to remove, review this document and go and approve it. And once it's approved by everyone, uh, the document gets released and everyone in the uh, who owns that document and is on the approvers list uh, will get notified. Oh, there's a question from David. Uh, so there's no way to create a workflow to be approved by Snape before. Uh, so all approvers will have to sign it, um, can approve it simultaneously. It's only if someone edits it after, let's say, uh, Dumbledore has already approved it, then all approvers would need to go in and re-approve it as the document's changed. Uh, but there's, that's, that's pretty much it on document approvals. There's no way to, create more sophisticated workflows on there. Um, for that, you might want to look at, you could create something in AppSheet, which we looked at last time, or, or uh, AppScript. Can approvers be exported? Um, that's a good question. You see the approval details on the right-hand side here, and that gets saved within the document, but whether it can be exported or not, I can check that um, in a moment while Charlie's talking and report back on that one. 